Alright everyone, it's Monday, April 23rd, 2012, and we're going to take a look at Bible prophecy in the news and, and how it lines up with uh, end times and the rapture of the church. Very important uh, prophecy going on that I'm not sure many of you are aware of. Mass death of dolphins in Peru linked to viral infection. Um, but let's bring the truth out here, and it's not to cause fear. It's not to be a fear monger. You have to know what's really going on. And I stick to the word, I stick to uh, the word of God. And we remember 9-11 when the Twin Towers fell and we hear in Bible prophecy in the Living Word about how the towers will fall. And uh, we have to take a look at uh, the deep water horizon disaster, the Gulf oil spill, uh, and now we have another disaster, our oceans, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, are dying. Um, we have another disaster, a natural gas disaster. These earthquakes, talk about Matthew 24, earthquakes in diverse places, uh, they have caused a lot of damage on this planet. Going back 2010, the uh, Chile earthquake, um, then we have the Christchurch, New Zealand, massive earthquake, massive destruction, the 9.0 earthquake uh, and tsunami in Japan and the Fukushima uh, disaster. Um, there is radiation raining down. We're looking at chemtrails. We're looking up in the sky at chemtrails and wondering what to toxins and poisons are raining down on uh, the people. We are full of radiation. Um, the United States now it's so bad they're not inspecting the fish that we are consuming from the oceans uh, and they are highly con contaminated with radiation and not only alone from the Gulf oil spill from the nuclear uh, reactors leaking they're still leaking today all they're doing is pouring water on them the oceans are dying uh, fish uh, sea life is dying they are deformed uh, abnorm abnormalities we've got an increase in SIDS sudden infant death syndrome You need to come to an understanding that this planet, this earth that we are living on, is in serious trouble. And uh, the earth is dying. Mass death of dolphins in Peru linked to a viral infection. Uh, don't believe that. Don't believe that. Uh, the dolphins uh, are telling the tale. They swim on sonar. Everything has been thrown out of kilter, off kilter. And it's a dangerous, dangerous situation that uh, the earth, I, I am certain, will not recover from. You need to know about what happened at Fukushima and the cover-up and uh, radiation is just pouring down upon all of us now. It's very serious. More people are coming down with cancer. Um, I'm going to bring another story about bats dying. Uh, there are more insects. There's a plague on the earth of insects. The, the natural uh, uh, instinct of God's creatures to uh, make everything work out and everything even out uh, is gone. The birds, the bats are dying that would take care of the insects. So we're not overrun by a plague of insects. Uh, everything is thrown off kilter. Everything. April 23rd, 2012 investigations are on into the deaths of hundreds of dolphins that washed up on the northern coast of Peru around 877 carcasses not all at once not nearly 900 all at once and it is Bible prophecy uh, but uh, and porpoises were found on Peru Peruvian beaches in two and a half months uh, Peruvian officials and environmentalists are trying to unravel the mystery behind the phenomenon there's no mystery the earth is uh, in serious trouble. We've had one major earthquake after another, three major ones that threw this planet off track, off kilter. Um, the, the Fukushima disaster, the Gulf deep water horizon disaster, the other disaster we have now with natural gas pouring into the oceans. No concrete reason has been figured out yet. 
but all the authorities believe that it could possibly be a viral infection that may have killed the dolphins. I just gave you the cause, the concrete uh, information. As we're looking at Bible prophecy in the end times, we're on the verge of seeing the Antichrist come on the scene, brothers and sisters. Um, the planet, the oceans are dying. This planet, this earth is dying. Just as, uh, I mean, this is Bible prophecy. Next story, seven million, seven million bats die from WNS. We can't stop this thing, and it's marching across the country. I'm going to play a little bit of this video for you. Across North America, bats are dying. The government estimates that between 5.7 and 6.7 million bats have died in the last five years. We look into publications and as far as vertebrates go, that population decline in that short period of time is not matched for an infectious disease. The culprit, white right. nose syndrome. It's a look what's happened just in the last five years to this planet. The, the, the bees are dying. The bats are dying that would naturally take care of uh, Nature takes care of itself. It will take care of the insect and the plague that we see of these insects on the increase. The earth is in serious trouble. We are in trouble, friend. Fungus that spreads from bat to bat, or even from human to bat, if a person moves from cave to cave. We're on the the leading edge of the spread of white nose, and uh, so we can potentially figure out some ways to detect it early. The illness was recently confirmed in Missouri, meaning it had crossed the Mississippi River from the east. White nose syndrome is now confirmed in 19 U.S. states and four Canadian provinces. While some people might not mourn the creatures that are the stuff of nightmares, scientists say bats play an important role. Bats are the primary predator of night flying insects. That includes a lot of things like moths and beetles, which are in turn um, agricultural and forest pests. There's no known cure for the disease. Locust, also. And scientists aren't even sure how it kills. Right now, they're working to identify where the disease is and try to keep it from spreading. Matt Friedman, Associated Press. Friends, brothers and sisters, uh, birth defects are on the increase. Sudden infant death syndrome. Um, the fish is not safe to eat in the United States or anywhere. As far as that goes, the oceans are contaminated. The dolphins are washing ashore. They're beaching themselves. Uh, they don't know where to go. The earth has been moved and, and shifted. One earthquake pounding after another. The earthquakes are on the increase. And each time there's an earthquake, and look how many there are in a day, it's causing more damage to this earth. To the point now, that uh, the dolphins, the, their sonar doesn't work anymore. They don't know where to go, they're just beaching themselves. It's not a disease of any kind. The disease has fallen on this planet. Radiation, like you have no idea, uh, is pouring down on the people. It's, it's strong in California. Um, the government knows, and they're not telling you. This is end time Bible prophecy. End time Bible prophecy. We've got a snowstorm, a destructive snowstorm, to rumble through the United States northeast, friends. The weather, unseasonably warm weather. We've had an early spring, it's almost summertime weather. In the month of April, everything is thrown out of kilter. Um, I just want to bring this to your attention. It's not to bring fear. I'm not, to, uh, I'm not trying to be a fear monger. We are in the end times. Um, I want to do a video on uh, the Antichrist. I hope I can do that today. I'm still praying about that. Uh, I'm still in prayer about that. I believe we will see the Antichrist come on the scene soon. And uh, those of you that believe in the pre-tribulation rapture, as I do, I believe it could happen any time. All the signs are there. You need to understand this earth is dying. This earth is dying. Everything is thrown out of out of whack and radiation is a serious problem worse than what happened in Chernobyl way worse but they're not telling you be informed I love you all God bless